Hello everyone, this is Jason Merkel with Horizon Hobby and we're out at the park today with the new E-Flight Kenshendo Evolution 1.5 meter motor glider. And uh, you know, some guys probably will recognize this. Uh, for those guys that, that don't know what this is, basically it is a motor glider as you can see. It's got a glider plan form and it's got a motor with a folding propeller in the front. Uh, but what's exciting about this is it's our third iteration of the Kenshendo. And uh, the biggest thing about it is that we've changed uh, quite a bit more than what you can tell kind of by a quick glance. So the biggest difference here is that we did go to a higher density EPO airframe. So you may not be able to see it in this video, but it actually does have um, more beads, tighter beads, a smoother finish, which results in a stiffer airframe. So the tail section, for example, much stiffer, the wings are stiffer. Uh, it's got a smoother finish that looks nicer. It feels smoother to the touch. It, hang, it holds up better to kind of a typical bumps and bruises. You don't get the dents in there as much. And again, the end result is an airframe that is stronger and stiffer overall. And the reason that's important is because we did upgrade to a 3S and 4S compatible power system. So now we've got more thrust, more speed, especially with a 4S battery. And then of course, because it is equipped with ailerons, it is a four channel motor glider. Uh, we do have more aerobatic capability and performance than we ever had. And so it's much better to have the stiffer, stronger airframe, uh, especially when you're flying with the uh, 4S battery. But even with the 3S battery, it does have this more kind of locked in, more precise feel uh, in the air because you do have, you know, again, that stronger, stiffer airframe overall. Uh, and so it is set up for, pop the canopy here, Anywhere from a three cell 1300 all the way up to at the top, we recommend a four cell 2200. So I'm gonna fly a few minutes with the three cell 1330C Spectrum Smart LiPo here to show you that performance. And then also we'll swap out to the four cell 2200 to show you that real time. You'll see here that it does have an IC3 connector, but the ESC doesn't have three wires. It only has two wires. So it's not a Spectrum Avion Smart ESC. It's an E-Flight telemetry capable ESC, 30 amp ESC that's installed in here. So what's really exciting about that is when you use a compatible Spectrum Smart receiver and you've got a compatible Spectrum transmitter, you will get still some telemetry data back to your transmitter real time. So it's not all of the features that a Spectrum Smart Avion ESC have. So when you use a smart battery with the third wire, you don't get to see the individual cell voltages or the pack temperature, but you do get to see whether you use a smart battery or regular battery, you get the overall battery voltage, you get the current draw of the power system, you get the RPM of the motor, and then you also get the temperature of the ESC on top of that. Again, all real time going through the receiver to the transmitter, and uh, you don't have to have any additional plugins or add-ons or modules or anything like that. And so in this case, we're flying the Bind and Fly Basic version, which does come with a Spectrum 637TA smart receiver. And that receiver is able to transmit that telemetry data back to our, in this case, I'm flying a DX8. You do only need a four channel transmitter if you're flying the plug and play version or a five channel transmitter if you're flying the Binafly Basic and you would like to take advantage of the optional use Safe Select. So of course in the Binafly we do have AS3X built in and then Safe Select you can bind with or without it. You can turn it on and off. And of course Safe Select has bank angle limits and pitch angle limits and self leveling. And what's really nice with Safe Select though is, is hand launching. So not everybody's comfortable hand launching. We totally understand that. Now I'm going to show you two very different hand launches in this video. We're going to show you a, a real quick easy overhand launch with Safe Select Active with a 3 cell 1300 and then we'll show you something a little bit or a lot a bit different with the 4 cell battery later on. That should be fun. So again, third iteration of the Kenshendo, but honestly this is the most capable most fun to fly Kenshendo yet. It still has a lot of the phenomenal low speed handling capabilities of the original. You can float around at very low throttle settings or turn the power off and the propeller will fold and you can have nice long uh, gliding flight times. You know, if you can thermal, you can fly even longer yet. Uh, so the nice thing about this airplane is you don't have to fly with the power on all the time, but you can add power if you need it. And you can get very, very wide range of flight times, anywhere from, you know, say upwards of 10 to 15, even 20 minutes with a mix of power flying. If you throttle off and catch some thermals, you can fly 30 minutes, an hour. I've seen guys keep these up for even beyond that. So it's a, a really cool, very versatile, capable airplane. Also relatively easy to fly. Not necessarily a training airplane per se, especially with a 4S battery, uh, but you know, if you've got some experience, you can easily fly the Bind and Fly Basic version, especially with AS3X and, and then the option to use Safe Select on top of that. And then real quick, uh, again, we do have it set up for 3S and 4S out of the box. You don't have to change anything. You don't have to change the propeller, 
the motor settings in the ESC, nothing. The uh, spinner, by the way, was updated in the later later portions of the Park Zone Concendo Advanced uh, production, where it does have now screws with lock nuts to attach the propeller blades. It doesn't use pins anymore. So that does work, of course, much better at keeping the prop secure, especially with the 4S battery power. Uh, and so, yeah, that's it. That's the overall uh, details. We do have a video that explains even more of these details uh, a little bit more in depth. Be sure to check that video out. In the meantime, before the sun goes down all the way, let's get a couple quick flights in here. So again, I am going to be using this 3-cell 1300 to start with. And I do have my transmitter set up, and oh, I can show you guys this real quick on video. So we do have it set up for showing some of the telemetry data. So you see it say smart here at the top of the screen, and that's because we're using a smart receiver. Again, the ESC is not a smart ESC, but it is still showing us motor RPM. It could show us that real time, volts, motor current. And of course, this is the min-max screen that I'm on right now. This is what I usually keep up when I'm flying, which is basically the real-time screen. So when I add throttle here, which I can show you, do that real quick, you'll be able to see RPMs are going up, voltage of the battery is going down, the current's going up. You can see the throttle percentage, the FET temperature, which is basically the ESC temperature. Really cool data that you can see real-time. All right. So let's go ahead and launch it. Again, I mentioned that I'm going to do this first hand launch with Safe Select turned on. So I've got Safe Select on, and I've got the 3-cell 1300 battery in here. I'm just going to give it a really easy full, at full throttle overhand launch, and you'll see it'll be super smooth, and it'll still climb out just a little bit. Very, very easy to do with Safe Select on. That's it. Hands free. So I'll throttle back a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and switch Safe Select off. And then for fun, I'm just going to do a high-speed pass with a 3-cell battery real quick. You can see, even with a 3-cell battery, the airplane is moving pretty darn good for a motor glider. Really good speed. can turn fast. You can do a quick, tight turn inverted. And again, guys, this is all with just a standard 3-cell 1330C battery. You can roll, of course, we've got ailerons for that. We have the ability to fly inverted. And I'm sure a couple guys that are watching this video right now are thinking, okay, guy, this is a motor glider. What are you doing? So, yes, I can climb out, gain a little bit more altitude here, and I'm going to turn the motor off. The brake will engage, the propeller will fold, and I'm going to come by real quick, and I'm hoping you guys can hear this really cool whistle sound that it makes. Not sure you can hear that on the video, but if you can, it is a really cool sound to just hear it kind of glide by with the power off. And you can see I've kept the power off this whole time and I'm just gliding around. It maintains its energy quite well. And then we can punch it, give it full throttle and climb out. Now we don't have unlimited vertical with the three cell battery, but we've got pretty darn good power. So we can climb out very, very quickly, climb back up to altitude, power off. And just in, in the sake of keeping this video a little bit shorter, we're not gonna go out and search for thermals at the moment, but you easily could. And with this lightweight three cell 1300 battery set up in there, it's a really great thermal aircraft in particular. We've also flown it today with a three cell 2200, phenomenal performance, of course, a little bit longer flight time than the 20, than the, sorry, the 1300. And then we're gonna land here in a minute. We're gonna show you it fly with the four cell 2200. So look at that, you can just see it just, just hangs out there like you'd expect a, a glider to do. This is a really great handling airplane. There's a little bit of a breeze today. We got AS3X in there kind of helping smooth things out. But even with AS3X on there, you will still see when you hit a thermal, it'll you know bump the wing, you'll see the tail lift. You're still going to get an indication that you've entered a thermal if, if you're interested in, in doing some thermaling with it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and land it real quick. And then we're gonna switch over to the four cell 2200. So we can show you the difference in performance with that. Fly around these goal posts. <laughs> Don't wanna hit those. Just let her kind of come down. So we're gonna belly land it here in the grass. All right. And then we're just gonna go ahead and switch the battery real quick for you guys. So I am installing the Spectrum 4S 2230C battery now.
And that's about the biggest battery that you can comfortably fit into this battery compartment. You know, this airplane was originally designed to fit a two cell 1300 and then up to a three cell 2200. Uh, and so that's it. You guys can see it's a, it's a pretty tight fit in there, but this battery in particular, the 30C Spectrum Smart 2200 4S fits in there, no problem. Plug it in. Oh, now I will say, because this battery is, of course, quite a bit heavier than the 3-cell 1300 was, and it's ahead of the CG, CG is going to change a little bit. I'm going to need a little more up trim, so I'm going to go ahead and just add a couple clicks right now, just so I've got that in there. Pop the hatch back on. And I'm going to show you a very different technique for hand launch this time. So now I don't recommend this for everyone. Not everyone's going to be comfortable doing this. I am going to do it with safe turned off. Uh, but with the four cell power system, you have a lot of power. A lot. <laughs> so here we go. Again, we don't recommend this for everyone, but this airplane is capable of it if you're up for it. Here we go. No problem. So now I'm going to come by with a four cell at full throttle. Holy cow, it's moving. And you can see on the other end, unlimited vertical. And it's not just unlimited. I'm gonna go ahead and throttle off and bring it back by and see if we can hear that whistle through the microphone here. So cool. Just love the way it feels when it's gliding with that, that prop folded back. It just feels so smooth, holds the energy well. But what I really like about this airplane is that even if you're not necessarily into motor gliders or gliders in particular, it is very aerobatic capable. So here I'm just at half throttle, do a nice little roll to the right, little roll to the left, pull back over the top here and roll out. We can do a nice giant loop. Power off on the backside there. And then we can do inverted flying as well. So it's just a very, very capable airplane, guys. Wide range of performance and capabilities. You can even do things like rolling circles, which is not a maneuver you typically see a lot of motor gliders do. But this airplane can do it, no problem. I am doing this at full throttle, by the way, guys, and a big reason for this being something we can do with this new model is that higher density EPO airframe. It's stiffer, it's stronger. We've got better control because of that. I can make it tighter. I can even do a partial rolling loop with it. So, so cool, guys. And then on top of that, I've got the power off now. I'm gonna slow it down. You guys can see now I've got a heavier battery installed in there, so it's not gonna quite have the low speed handling and gliding performance that it would with a lighter battery, but it is still a very, very good mannered, easy handling, very capable glider in this configuration with the power off. Absolute beautiful summer evening right now. I honestly could be out here flying this thing for the next 20 or 30 minutes, but I'll, I'll keep the video shorter than that for you guys. But there you can see the gliding performance. It's just so peaceful, so practical, so capable. I've had the power off for a while now, guys. Not really searching for thermals, just kind of enjoying the gliding performance. A little bit tighter turn here. Look at that, all with the power off this whole time. And then, punch it and go. Boy, I gotta say, with four cells, the performance is amazing. Let's bring it back by in a high-speed pass. Holy cow, it's cooking. This is a lot of fun, guys. I can't stress it enough. Look at that. And then even with the power off, you can still perform aerobatics because it maintains its energy so well. So I've got the throttle off, I just did a loop. Come out of that, can do a roll. 
<laughs> and then on top of that, again, I, I might have mentioned in the other videos uh, that you can fly this in a relatively small space. So we're on essentially a football field slash soccer field right now. It would be a little better with a lighter weight battery, the 3-cell 1300 in particular, but you could fly this in as small as one soccer field if you're a very experienced pilot, maybe two soccer fields for, for a little bit less experienced pilot. Um, and then on top of that, of course, you can fly it at large parks. You can fly it at your local flying field. Obviously, be sure to check your regulations if you're flying at a schoolyard or a park. But you can see, even with this 4-cell 2200, I can keep it in a pretty darn tight space. Look at that. You can do it upside down, too. <laughs> By the way, you can see there's a big difference in the trim scheme from top to bottom, which helps a lot for orientation. You don't have to install those stickers on the bottom of the wing there in the box separately, but you can if you'd like. Some guys might put fluorescent colors on the bottom to help, especially if they're flying much higher up. Boy, what a lot of fun to fly. Not only in this, it's now the winds are pretty much calmed down. It's really nice out right now. But the nice thing about this airplane being stiffer than the last version, having more power than the last version, is you can easily fly it in more wind as well. Wow, love that. All right, so in the sake of keeping this short, we're gonna go ahead and set her up for a landing now. And of course, it is a glider, so it does glide very well. So you guys can see, I have to go and, and bleed off some altitude here to bring it in for a landing not too far away from me. But look at that, maintaining its energy, look at that. Power off this whole time. Setting it down on the grass, nice and easy. So there you guys have it. The new E-Flight Concendo Evolution 1.5 meter, the most capable, most fun to fly of a Concendo we've ever had, evolved to be better, updated and upgraded in a lot of ways with better technology to boot. Be sure to check it out. Thank you.